With seven days left before the polls, there's high likelihood of a Ferdinand Marcos Jr. win, at least in the latest Pulse Asia survey. The April survey would show that he's still miles ahead, sustaining his 56% mark from March. His closest contender, Vice President Lenny Robredo, is a far second, dipping 1 point to 23%. That's after her 9-point rise back in March. This puzzles political pundit Denise Coronacion, who thought that Robredo was gaining momentum. Because uh, after she was able to overcome yung sinasabi ng mga analyst na 16% na cap niya. I would have to say na yung yung kay Bongbong Marcos uh, very strong talaga yung kanyang ano eh, yung kanyang campaign ever since. On the other hand, for Lenny Robredo, it has always been an uphill climb. But Robredo's camp is still looking at the numbers with optimism, saying the survey did not capture her recent massive rallies, including the one in Pasay City. But political analyst Ed Montayao is not keeping his hopes up for the VP scam. We've, we've uh, had a long uh, campaign period. If uh, that uh, long a time did not result in any change, how much more can we expect a change no, in the, this remaining few uh, days no, uh, in the run-up to the uh, election day? Tayo, in fact, said the ranking of those trailing Marcos is no longer significant. Even if you put together all the numbers of the contenders, eh, hindi sila aabot doon sa frontrunner kasi more than 50%. But in the April survey, Senator Manny Pacquiao edged Manila Mayor Isko Moreno for the third spot. The survey period covers the controversial Manila Pen Prescon of Moreno and other presidential bets where he asked Robredo to drop out of the race. Yung mga Isko supporters... Uh, they got disappointed with it. Since uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao was not there, obviously, she is not Moreno's camp has yet to comment on his job, while Pacquiao thanked his supporters. Alam mo, ang uh, sa panahon ngayon, ang totoong survey sa uh, iyong sa ilalim. Kasi mas maraming uh, taong naghihirap sa panahon ngayon. As for the Marcos camp, they thank the public for their continued support. Shaila Francisco, we are One News.